Hey, Pavio Nick here. This is a dish I posted to Facebook a couple days ago. I'm going to remake it for Tim Huber up in Washington, and it's prosciutto crusted opa. Okay, so I'm going to start by preheating a, a saute pan over, let's go medium high heat. And then I'll come over here, I've got one slice of prosciutto and a piece of opa right here. You can really do this with any fish. I've done it before on the site with salmon, tucked a little apple slice in here. But this one doesn't need much more than this. I'll just lay the opa on the prosciutto, roll it across, and all you got to do is make sure that you get lap, uh, overlap so that we can start there and seal this all together. Could add a little bit of salt on there, but I don't think we'll need it. All right, we'll bring this over here. Add a little oil to this pan. It's running uh, like water. Wouldn't you agree? It means it's nice and hot. And then we'll set our seam side down. Right there. I'm going to come over here. And this time, I'll cut just on the side of the little core. And then cut that out. These are just Campari tomatoes. And I'll give kind of a rough something like that there and there same thing to these four tomatoes and we'll come back over here and check in boom good sear there just make sure we have some oil up under we'll we'll turn it uh, on our first side right there and then over here on the second burner we've got some of our maple glazed mushrooms we've already posted that video on the site so Check that one out. I'm just going to reheat these. Check back in over here. And now we'll go on the bottom side. All right, and then we'll turn this onto the last side right here. There we go, that'll balance. And as we do that, we'll throw our tomatoes the other side of the pan. And I'm going to take another pan and just cover that up just like that. All right, so we're just going to kill the flame there, take that lid off, and then I'm just going to toss this in the oven. Just like that. We'll cook that until it hits 120, and then I'll check back in. Okay, so I think we're about there on the fish. We'll go ahead and pull that out. And uh, I'll show you a little trick. We could temp it, but I usually just go by feel. And another way you can do is you can get like a, a, a needle or a baker's uh, cake tester. You stick it in the center, okay, and then you leave it in there for maybe five to ten seconds. You pull it out, and then you just brush it on your upper lip like that, okay? And if it's warm, then you know that it's done. If it's still cold, then it needs to cook longer. So, uh, I think we're golden. That was nice and warm. If it burns your lip, then you probably have over <laughs> overcooked your fish. So, let's go ahead and plate this up. Got a plate here. We're going to take our mushrooms into the center. And these are maple glazed mushrooms, so what I'll do is give them a quick little extra little glaze, drizzle. Some maple syrup. Right? And then fish. Go right on top of that. And then the tomatoes. I want to add our basil to these tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, just fold that in. There we go. And we'll finish it off with a little drizzle balsamic. So it's kind of like a little mini caprese salad on top of our... There we go. Huber, that one's for you. Prosciutto crusted opa with the maple glazed mushroom medley, three M's. That was nice, huh? And then some tomatoes, basil, a little balsamic on top. I'm Paleo Nick, thanks for watching. And as always, keep it paleo.